there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October 10th, 2020. Wet and breezy conditions are expected for today as portions of Tropical Storm Delta move through the area. We'll have to watch the radar closely as there is a potential for a few tornadoes. We'll get to that in just a second. Radar as of 550 this morning shows the leading rain band from Delta over the western parts of the area. At this point it is only light to moderate rain, but we may see some action from this band as it warms up today. There are two tornado warnings currently in effect, one for portions of Clark, Mobile, and Washington counties, and the other for portions of Baldwin County. Temperatures as of the 5 a.m. roundup were in the mid-60s to the mid-70s across central Alabama. Gadsden was the cool spot at 65 degrees, while Troy was the warm spot at 76 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 70, deg 70 degrees. There is a wind advisory in effect for Green, Hale, Marengo, Pickens, and Sumter counties through 1 p.m. today as wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour will be possible. Now let's get to the forecast starting with a 060 run of the GFS valid today at 4 p.m. The center of Tropical Storm Delta will be moving through Mississippi before making a right turn and moving through the northwestern parts of Alabama this evening and, in, and into tonight. While Delta as a tropical system will continue to weaken throughout the day, a combination of rising instability across central Alabama and elevated helicity moving in with Delta will put us in a risk for the potential of a few tornadoes today. The Storm Prediction Center has all of the southeastern and much of the eastern parts of central Alabama in a slight risk for severe storms throughout the day today, while the rest of the area is under a marginal risk. The main window for the threat of tornadoes will be from 9 a.m. through 11 p.m. tonight from west to east. Any tornadoes that do form will be quick hitting spin-ups that may be hard to, hard to detect just as you would expect them to be with tropical systems. While most of them will be smaller EF0s to EF1s, there is a non-zero threat of a stronger tornado. Other than that, we can expect today to be cloudy at times with occasional rain and a few thunderstorms, continuing through tonight and through the overnight hours. Highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s. Since we have been dry for a little while, flooding should not be an issue, but some locations along and north of the I-59 corridor could see as much as 2 to 3 inches of rain, while south of that we'll see around 1 to 2 inches through Sunday night. Be sure you have a way to get severe weather warnings in a trustworthy fashion if they are needed to be issued and go over your severe weather safety plan. Much of the rain should come to an end late in the day on Sunday, but a few lingering showers may be possible through the evening. Skies will be cloudy otherwise and highs will be in the mid 70s to lower 80s on both days. Once we get the remnants of Delta out of here, the weather will feature dry days with plenty of sunshine with warm temperatures to start but a cold front sweeps through central Alabama late on Monday, which will drop our highs back into the mild category. Monday's highs will be in the mid to upper 80s, falling back into the upper 70s to the mid 80s for Tuesday, then the mid 70s to the lower 80s for Wednesday. High pressure will move into the western portions of, of the Carolinas on Thursday, which will send some cooler air in our direction, but it may take a full day for those highs to drop a little. Thursday will be in the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees, then falling back into the upper 60s to the upper 70s on Friday. As of 4 a.m. this morning, Delta was located around 45 miles to the south-southeast of Monroe, Louisiana, with maximum sustained winds at 45 miles per hour. Movement was still to the north-northeast at 16 miles per hour, with a turn to the northeast expected later today. On the forecast track, the center of Delta should move across northeastern Louisiana this morning and then across northern Mississippi and into the Tennessee Valley later today and Sunday. Delta will continue to weaken and will transition down to a tropical depression later today. We also have a westward moving tropical wave that is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the central tropical Atlantic. Slow development of this system could be possible later this weekend or early next week while the wave continues moving westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour, upper level, upper level winds are forecast to become unfavorable for further development by the middle of next week. There's a low chance of formation only at 20% through the next five days. 
That will wrap it up for today's weather video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.